Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. I'm gonna to be unboxing and demoing the Slage Connect. I'm not gonna go through the hardware and solve this on the physical door itself, but I am gonna show what you can do after you hook this up with your SmartThings hub. So let's get right into the unboxing. Okay, so now let's see what's in the box. The instruction manual, just showing how to set it up. Just put that aside. The user guide. So here's the brackets and the screws. We got some batteries and our key. The actual deadbolt here. And here we have the connect, and it seems to be fingerprint resistant here. Just remind us against the door. <laughs> Just put that aside. And here's the touchpad. As usual, as expected, a door lock it is pretty heavy. Here is the power cord and this will connect to the other side where the battery is actually located so it controls the motor. Okay, so here we are now in the SmartThings app and I'm just going to show you a few things that you can do with your Slage lock. Uh, the first thing being, of course, you can unlock and lock your door remotely. Next, I'll be using the automation tab in SmartThings to automatically lock the door after being closed for two minutes. In order to do this, you will need door sensors, so keep that in mind. I personally use the Xiaomi door sensors, which work great for myself. I'll drop the links down below if you want to look more into it, or you could watch my other video that I have on how to set them up. So now I'll just click on the automation tab here at the bottom. Then you'll click on the Smart Apps button, and then you'll click Add a Smart App. From here you'll select safety and security and then you'll scroll down to the bottom where it says enhance auto door lock and we'll just go through and set all of our properties now. So I'll select my front door. On the door sensors I'm going to say it's my front door sensor. Next I'll set the delay time to two minutes so it will automatically lock when it's the door is closed. For automatically unlock the door when it's open. I like to put this at a really high number, so just in case the sensors are off at all, you don't have the door automatically open on you. So I normally set this to 24 hours, which is 86,400. Next, I just assign a name to it, give it whatever name you please. And when you're done entering the name, just go up to the top right hand corner and choose save. The last feature I'm going to look at is how to set up individual lock codes for people that you may want to let into your house at different times. Let's say you have some guests coming in, you don't want to have to stay and have to go everywhere with them. You just give them their own individual passcode and when they're done or when they leave, you can just delete it. And within your history, you'll be able to see who's locked and unlocked your door at whatever time. So let's take a look. So once again in the Smart Apps tab, we're going to click on Add a Smart App. Then we'll go to safety and security and then smart locks. Now just click on save. And now go straight up to your dashboard button on the bottom left hand side. And now you'll see under home solutions, smart locks. Once you click smart locks, you'll have three different um, tabs at the top. The first is your sets, obviously showing that the door is locked. Now the lock codes, this is where you'll see all the individual lock codes that you do have. And if you want to add a new one, you'll just click add a new lock. And then you just fill out all the information that you want. So guest, assign the lock code to the front door. And we'll give it a passcode of 1234, or obviously whatever you want. And just hit create code. 
and that's it you're all done now you've created the lock for whatever guest that enters your house or just for whoever you want now over on the history tab you'll have all the different actions that have been performed like adding the guests like as you see um, if someone's locked it manually who is locked it who has unlocked it, and so on so this is where I'm going to end the video today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Obviously it's just a few of the things you can do with automating your door. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Hopefully you like this video, so slap a like on it. Subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.